Welcome back, boys and girls. Season 20 of Little People Big World shows Amy Roloff finally making the big move off of Roloff Farms. She lives on the farm property with ex-husband Matt Roloff for 30 years, but years after their divorce, she finally decided it was time for her to take a leap of faith into a new life direction. Thankfully, she has her fiancé Chris Merrick to help her along the way. Amy talks about her big move all the time on her Instagram, but we're seeing the ins and outs of it on the show, and it's clear she had a lot of work she had to do on the house before she could call it a home. Here's what she said about it not being as accommodating as Roloff Farms. It's been a confusing journey for LPBW fans when it comes to Matt and Amy's divorce. Last season, we saw Amy make the major decision to leave Roloff Farms behind and find a place of her own. And since then, she did just that with the help of Merrick, as he's a realtor. Amy's new place is now just 15 minutes away from the farm property. So with Amy off the farm, many assume this means Matt is the sole owner of Roloff Farms now, but it seems there's still a lot of legalities to work through. I don't own the whole thing, Matt explained to an Instagram follower regarding the farm. Amy and I still co-own the north side, original farm with big house. I only own the south parcel. Hope that helps. I know it's confusing. Matt then clarified that Amy didn't have to move, she chose to move. Amy could have stayed on the farm if she wanted to. Moving hasn't been an easy process for Amy, but she's kept her Instagram followers informed the entire way. She's told Instagram how much she'll miss her home on the farm, as it's where she spent most of her adulthood and raised her children, but it's best for her to keep moving. And now she's almost totally finished with her move. I'm thrilled to see some light at the end of this long journey of moving, purging, packing and moving into my new house. Woohoo! Amy wrote on Instagram. Sometimes I don't know whether to jump up and yell hooray or cry. I do know I feel relieved. So I see the light at the end of this tunnel and I think I'll make my end date, end of February. Yuppie! Matt said on LPBW that he thought it would take Amy a very long time to move though. Amy is not known for quick decisions, and so she missed a couple that she wants, Matt told the TLC cameras. She could purchase a place and it could be another two years before she moves her stuff out, so that's what I'm assuming is gonna happen. We're watching Amy make her big move on season 20, and it seems she still has major adjustments to make to the house so that it's friendly for someone of her height. We definitely have a number of things to do before I officially move into this house, Amy said in episode 7. Then Merrick shows Amy the step tool he bought her to help her reach the oven and the microwave in the kitchen, but it wasn't tall enough. Well, if you decide to use the convection, I can help you with that, Merrick notes. To that, Amy said, I like to be independent. Moving into this new house, it's not as accommodating as the farmhouse, Amy noted. While she has plenty to change in the kitchen, she then told the cameras that the rest of the house will likely remain the same, especially because she has Merrick to help her if absolutely necessary. But Amy loves to cook and bake, so the kitchen needs work. I'm looking forward to Chris and I being together in this house, Amy added. I don't want to modify everything when I have someone of average height, too. We're interested to see how Amy modifies the house going forward. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.